right now I'm on WrestleBiz, and that's not just the coolest, and that's not just the best WrestleBiz. Now that, my friends, is just incredible. Check them out. That's right. It's your boy, the blueprint, the DNA of TNA, the most genetically jacked, athletically stacked giant in the business today, live and direct. And you're watching Bout That TV with my homeboy, Fonzo. This is Supermix Hernandez, and you're watching Bout That Online. Yo, when you out here, when you in these streets, if you're trying to keep it mental, then you need to be Bout That. And that's why you go to Bout That Online, so that you can most definitely know what's going down when you need to know what's going down, you dig? <laughs> Well, let me tell you something, brother. You're listening to WrestleBiz. So, Peace Family, in a major update, you know, Bobby Lashley has broke the wrestling business on WWE Raw last night, capturing the WWE Championship. Now, um, definitely a historic win. You know, we haven't seen much black champions holding that particular title. You know, not to downplay Kofi Kingston's achievement, but Bobby Lashley, 17-year vet, you know, even longer as a veteran, but, um... People have wanted to see him capture this title for a long period of time, and I think it took the, the fans a while to get into him and, you know, really accept his character and stuff. Everybody knew he had the potential and the power and the prowess, but um, now he's definitely stepped up to the top of the mountain. Here we see Lashley filled with emotion, a big emotional win, proving the naysayers wrong, you know, um, getting the big W. You know, for the help of the week, we see Riddle applauding at ringside, people applauding, you know. We applaud and uh, with Cedric. Then we see MVP. You know, Lashley tapped out the Miz to the hurt lock. Um, now we see him applying it once again. This leaves huge WrestleMania implications for matches that people have been talking about. Dream matches for a while. Lashley versus Lesnar. Lashley versus McIntyre. You know, there's a whole bunch of opportunities. Lashley Strowman, even though he made light work of him last week on Raw. But um, definitely a great look for the business. It's great to see Lashley in the top spot. Um, happy to see, you know, great with the addition of the help business. Looking forward to see where things are going to go with this angle and stuff. Let us know your thoughts and stuff. Um, but this one, definitely a big look, man. Um, there we see the beast, Lashley. Well, let me tell you something, brother. You're listening to WrestleBiz. He, he always had like a smiley face. He was a friendly looking guy. And um, I don't know if that necessarily hurt him a lot, but you know, for part of the pun being a part of the help business, but you know, then they had him in those weird angles with like Lana and stuff. It never really gave him anything to sink his teeth into. Enter MVP. Now, I like to say MVP has done, you know, great stuff for turning around Bobby's career, putting him on focus in the right direction. You know, since MVP showed up and took him away from Lana and was like, you know, this the direction you need to go. We've seen Bobby just be climbing the mountain, had the US Championship. You know, we've seen the help business doing great stuff. And fast forward from that, now he's holding the WWE Championship. So this is another great one, Black History right there. And, you know, a dominant champion too at that. Not to take anything away from uh, Kofi Kingston when he picked up the title. But, you know, Lashley, we'll be looking forward to see if he has a long run with the title or if they wanted to hold the belt until Mania or something. But uh, regardless, nonetheless, salute to Bobby Lashley. Um, all his years of hard work and stuff, he's definitely hit a peak and a pinnacle now. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. This is my nation. You're watching DDTV. Yeah, so we see a tweet from Bobby Lashley celebrating, saying the almighty era is here. So we see a reply from Stevie Ray, WWE Hall of Famer from the legendary Harlem Heat. Says, congratulations, Bobby Lashley. Wow, Bobby Lashley, Black History, WWE World Champion. You see a lot of support from fans celebrating. It's quite a funny being. Leo Rush, Lashley, Lashley. I forgot about that, you know, that period. So, um, Lashley's definitely been on a momentous run for the past few years. And we see Joshua Hunter, 17 years, and you finally won the one. Congrats, champ. 100% deserve it. Finally feels like road to WrestleMania for a bro. Um, so Lashley's definitely, I'm sure, going to be, um, Breaking the internet. You know, trending worldwide and stuff. Well deservedly.
Now Lashley's yet to post anything about it on his Instagram. Oh wow, that's really, that's well dressed. And lastly, he ready. <laughs> okay, then we see he's posted it in his Instagram stories. Lastly, with the big W. Go over to MVP's Instagram. And we can also see. It's a celebration of the help business. Which is pretty dope. Yeah, so props to Bobby Lashley in the help business. They're killing it right now. You know. Amazing, Britain's biggest biceps, 24 inch guns blazing. I'm simply, you know it, Huff Man, Huff Amazing. And you're watching Back That TV all day, every day. If you're not about, then you're not about Back That. Make sure you upload your shit, keep your eyes locked, keep your things peeled because we're doing big things. It's all about Back That. Remember that name, Back That. You got that, Back That. You're winning, Back That. You're losing, Back That, Back That. Watch now. Well, let me tell you something, brother. WrestleBiz Podcast, presented by Fonzie Neutron. Hip-hop meets wrestling, powered by Bout That Online, brother. www.boutthatonline.com, brother. What you gonna do, brother, when WrestleBiz runs wild on you? Ew. Tune in and let these guys tell you thing or two about a thing or two. Need a little excitement? Check out the WrestleBiz Podcast. Ooh, yeah. Peace, 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 family. So um, it appears to seem that we're going through what would appear to be like a new age kind of black renaissance in wrestling. So, um, you know, the interesting thing is I remember a few years ago where there was a lot of um, hoopla about there not being enough black champions and black world champions, especially a lot of us growing up as um, black wrestling fans. We remember, you know, pinnacle moments like Rand Simmons capturing the first ever world's championship. Um, even Ahmed Johnson capturing the IC championship, which was huge at the time to think that even though people say Ahmed wasn't one of the best talents, but, um, you know, it was huge at the time being a young black kid seeing that. And I think a lot of the bookers, when you go back in wrestling, they understood that you heard Jim Ross tell stories about, um, you know, Bill Watts, Cowboy, and how he put, you know, JYD and certain people over because he didn't really care. The only thing he cared about was green. And if they could put butts in seats, he was with it. But I say that to say this, you know, going forward where we're at now, it appears to be a new renaissance where we see to me, for one of the first times ever, so many black champions, the inundation of black champions, you know, we see the Street Profits as um, SmackDown Tag Team Champions, you know, um, the New Day Word of Raw Tag Team Champions, but now we see um, the Hurt Business, one of the most dominant and, and best looking groups we've seen in a while, you know, as now the Raw Tag Team Champions, Cedric Alexander and um, Shouting Benjamin. We see Bobby Lashley holding the U.S. title, you know, with the U.S. strap. The almighty Bobby Lashley. You know, we see Sasha Banks with the SmackDown Women's title. You know, um, she holding that high. You know, she got the SmackDown Women's title. We got Big E, who recently picked up um, the IC. You know, I mentioned the IC. Big, e, Big E's now the IC champion. You know, you got R-Truth round kill killings in multiple 24-7 um, champion. And you know, that's pretty slick. And even we go to Impact Wrestling now, we got Rich Swan is the Impact Wrestling World Champion. We got Moose is the TNA Heavyweight Champion, you know, and um, I'm trying to think AEW, I don't think we got any black champions in AEW. Um, but yeah, what you think guys? Let me know if I forgot anybody and you know, it's an, import it's an interesting and important time in wrestling. 
you know, um, we definitely seen a lot of representation, a lot of color, so to speak. Ignore the um the pun, you know, we ain't talking about blade jabs. But um, peace family, check in with us, rest for biz, let us know what you think.